Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain a number of tips and tricks for how to use advanced searches in Microsoft Outlook. Now what we have here, the current build of Microsoft Outlook from our Microsoft 365 subscription, probably a lot like you have. So let's get to it. You probably notice this little search bar on the top. When you click in it, uh, a number of things happen. One, it shows you your previous searches. And uh, secondly, you can just type in it. So I'm going to type in rate cards because that's something I have a fair number of. Now you can see here, this returned 72 items. But this is what's called a broad search. And what that means is it's these words used in any order. Uh, so let's put a quote, let's put quotes around them. Press enter. And you'll see now uh, it returns 13 items. And if I scroll down through one of these emails, I will be able to see the highlighted, there it is, rate cards. So you can see that that exact phrase is what's being returned. Now, one of the weird things about this is this is not case sensitive. So if I change this to rate cards, it's still going to return the same 13 results. We will show you how to perform a case sensitive search in just a minute, but let's show you something else that's really neat. Uh, when you're doing your search, you can press the minus or the dash or a hyphen, whatever you want to call it, and you can exclude words. This is probably the most useful function in Microsoft Search. It also applies to Google in case you're doing Google searches, by the way. We'll leave that alone for the moment. So let's say I want to search for rate cards, that phrase, but I don't want anything with uh, messages with emails that contain the letters L-Y-U. So, and that's because that's somebody's name, like you. So let's click on that. Boom, now I'm down to six. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's say you just wanted it from a particular folder. Let's say just your inbox. You can click the arrow at the, at the left here and you can perform a search on the current folder. So I often go into my sent items and do a search there. And anywhere but the inbox, by the way, it will default to doing just that current folder. It'll only search in the current folder. But if you're in it, if you are in the inbox, it will search everywhere unless you specifically say, no, 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 just show me the current folders. Let's click on that. And now we're down to two. Now, one of the things that you may have noticed, or you may not have, is that when you went into the search box, uh, that the search ribbon came up. And there are a number of very useful features here. First, you can say, well, uh, let's get rid of this uh, Liu. And now we're back to six. But we've decided we only want the messages from Edgar. So let's click on the from, and we'll type in Edgar, just his first name and bingo. So the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. What's not clear and what's not self-explanatory is the advanced find where you can do case sensitive searches. Now let's reset all of this. And the easiest way to uh, reset the search, well, is to click close search. But the way I often do it is simply to select a different folder and then click back because it's just easier to randomly click something over here than it is to move a mouse up and click specifically on the closed search. I have to pay more attention with that. So we've got a nice new search here. So let's click on search and click out of the search box and then go down to search tools and select advanced find. And this is where the cool stuff really lives. So let's search for rate cards again. Actually, I'll just search for rate card this time because there's a lot more with that. Now, do I want to search in just the subject field? No, I want to search in the subject field and the message body. So let's select that. And again, I'll go to more choices and select match case. And I will select find now. Let's see what comes up. My expectation is a lot, thousands. Now, while we are in advanced find, let's show you some advanced, advanced search functions. Uh, and then we'll show you a couple of easier things as well. So let's uh, start with uh, the advanced tab and select field. And we can really drill down, uh, be extremely granular here. We can get to, you know, who's just been blind copied on it, so on and so forth. So this is where all of the really advanced stuff is. Let's show you some of the less advanced stuff that you're probably going to use more day to day. So I'm going to close this search. And at the top, I will search for rate cards again. And because that provides a smaller number of searches, there we go, 72 items is what showed up there. That's great. Let's uh, click the drop down arrow here and you'll notice that I can again change this from this from the inbox to wherever but I can also add in a date range 
I can add in a subject line. I, you know, I can look for other things, but take a look at this. Uh, as opposed to being, you know, really uh, IT tech guy, you can simply click on add more options here and you can search for things like the message size. You can do it right here. Let's click apply. Now message size is added to the left here and I can type in whatever size I want. I can put in a range, I can put in a specific number, but most people aren't going to know exactly what size it is. They just want to know it's large or small or, you know, they have some concept of how large. So I'm going to use the less than sign. I want all messages that are less than. Uh, now this is done in bytes and you, you might, okay, bytes versus bits versus, okay, it gets confusing. Basically, uh, when you're looking at your numbers, add a thousand. That's probably what you're going to want to do. So anything that's less than, I want something that's less than 250 kilobytes. Well, KB is a thousand, so let's just add a thousand here. And let's do the search, exact same search. And you'll see now it changed to 34. Uh, it's still, no, I think it was a little smaller than that. Let's uh, look for things that are less than 150,000. And boom, I'm now down to 24. And I can just keep changing this. And the last thing we want to show you is how to recall these searches because you can see as you've built up your search, it builds up the search string at the top here. So this is looking for rate cards with a message size of less than 150,000 bytes. Well, that might not be easy for you to remember. Fortunately, when you click on the search field at the top, the search ribbon opens and you can see there's a cool little function here called recent searches so you click on that and it will take you back to your previous searches which is very handy so hey thanks for watching we really appreciate it and please give us a big thumbs up if you found it useful subscribes also always appreciated and if you have any questions or concerns please get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca that's www.urtech.ca or you can leave a question or a comment below and if we don't get back to you somebody else will because on youtube everybody has an opinion thanks and have a great day Bye bye